on YouTube. Oh, no, no, no. We good? <clears throat> Alright, motherfucker, you don't, you don't want to focus. Anyway, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man, and today we got a video by Duty, or that he called Laser Dim 700 is tripping. Now, that boy been going crazy with these little songs and shit. I'll give him that. But when I seen that thing on TikTok about him being, you know, mad by his baby, I was like, you know, and as recently, I don't know what been going on, but yeah, that's all I seen, you know, but if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, without that being said, let's get to the video. I don't know how many times we didn't see rappers get scammed or producers get scammed in the underground. The whole underground messed up. The whole thing is messed up. Like, it's a known thing to get scammed in the underground. Like, if you get scammed, nobody gonna care. You a producer, you get scammed for your beat, nobody gonna care. If you a rapper and you like younger, nobody gonna care. It's true. I'm not surprised at the same time because what do you think these rappers be rapping about? I mean, most of them are cap rappers, but living that type of lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Dudes be having straps in their music videos. They be bragging about clothing, designer, and all this money and stuff. So I'm not surprised that dudes get finessed. Some of these rappers are just ruthless. That's just how it is. But for some reason now, rappers have been scamming producers. Like, for example, I didn't talk about it, but I know what happened. Until Japan um scammed the producer, if I'm not mistaken, I think he actually ended up paying him, but it took a producer to get on this story and expose all this stuff just for a dude to pay up. No producer, nobody should have to contact you 10 times just for you to answer and pay a dude up. These rappers are getting thousands and thousands of dollars, sometimes even millions. There's no reason to scam. You got the bread. Shout out to my supporters. Somebody sent me a screenshot of um Laser's producer for Asian Rock, right? He went on his story and he said, I know a lot of you new followers are Asian Rock fans, and I just wanted to let you know, Laser took me out of the credits for acts and for splits and never pay me for that beat the song has six million plays across all platforms and it's his biggest song and he not lying if you go to spotify right now the biggest song is asian rock and it almost got six million streams i think everybody know that song of course so allegedly laser just never paid for this beat and i'm not sure if laser was thinking during that time i guess he just wanted to get the song out there i don't know if he know what leasing is i don't know if he know anything about it but right now it's just looking like he finessed the dude after the song wars i think laser just ended up uploading the song to spotify and all platforms and he probably didn't think of paying the producer but let's see what people talking about somebody tweeted and said it's a free type beat laser paid the 20 dollars and used it for profit now the song blew up and the wants his money <laughs> leases are usually up to 1k to 10k streams after that you have to pay the full price somebody said and how you know he even paid that obviously six million plays should be a few bands at least laugh out loud somebody said it's not even proof why would he just lie about it on his story like that and gonna make him pay and it says lease by the way somebody said to all the dummies just because you lease a beat doesn't mean you keep all the split producers get 50 percent of the song no matter how much you clowns don't know or read somebody else said who the f cares obviously the producer bro you know what i'm saying he's trying to get his bread i don't blame him man somebody hey i can see what he mean by that <clears throat> god damn it leave me alone but i can see what you know he mean about you know paying the beat and shit but at the same time you should have known. My bad, this ice too good. You should know how niggas operate. You know. And six million streams. God damn. Yeah, my boy. You missing out on some money. No gap. I'ma always pay the producers, bro. These don't respect the producers. Somebody said, y'all surprised the that talks about robbing people and stealing. And it's crazy because I just said that these rappers rap about stealing all the time. I'm not surprised. Then somebody else said it was a free type beat on YouTube. Then Bob Lamb responded, he said, that means free to rap on, but not commercial use. You got people that saying it's free for nonprofits. So but right now, the way how the producer talking, he's saying that Laser basically finessed him. But I am confused on why he's saying this now. He could have been said this. And didn't this song drop like four months ago? Why is he just now saying this? Because exactly. it would be different if he said this was ago. But you just now saying this, it kind of looks 
looks like a little iffy, like you're just trying to get some bread right now. But if Laser and his team did finesse this guy or this producer, then they might want to address this quickly. And if it's true, just pay the producer, bro. Just pay him, gang. You know what I'm saying, bro? Laser on tour right now. He's doing very well. You know what I'm saying? He got 600, 700 monthly listeners. Like, there's no reason for you to be in this conversation of scamming somebody. You know what I'm saying? I get that he's a rapper. I get that he's about that life doing all that, but you don't want to mess up your reputation. Laser seemed like a cool dude. Like, he just be chilling. But like y'all said, he's a rapper. I'm not even surprised that bro be scamming. I don't, I don't even know. Producers, stop letting rappers bully y'all. The same okay. way you work hard with your beats is the same way a rapper might work hard with his songs. You know what I'm saying, gang? There should be like a balance of like respect. You know what I'm saying? I get tired of seeing the same thing with a rapper getting scammed. I'm getting DMs from these producers and stuff talking about they getting scammed from all these rappers and underground, bro. That is annoying, bro. But yeah, I'm done chatting. It's D U T I E. Don't forget to follow my kick and my IG right now. But I love y'all so much. Y'all stay blessed. So what I'm hearing is somebody got punked out their beat. And what I'm hearing is you ain't getting no money. But at the end of the day, like he said, he been talking about this shit in his rap. So if you get caught lacking, nigga, you just get caught lacking. On um, bro, let's read this. Y'all underground blog niggas be switching every second. Everything I take, a laser ain't asking for shit. <clears throat> Motherfuckers complain about how people be cat rappers, but when a motherfucker don't cap, now he trade <laughs> Hell yeah, you can't get mad at him. But anyway, this boy OGT man signing out. You dig?